All right, guys, welcome back to Sturman Creations. Today, we're gonna be finishing up that Ford engine. Um, I've got the heads and everything on. Now I'm gonna be doing the push rods, the um, the, the hydraulic valves, um, the rockers, and the fulcrums. I'm gonna teach you how to put the, the hydraulic lifters in. They go in a specific way because the roller can only go one way. After that, you have to put a foot on top of it that lock them in so that they can't spin and tear up your either your hydraulic lifter or your camshaft. You don't want to do that. You want to pay attention to this video, do it one time, do it correctly, and get done with it. You want to put the push rods in. You want to put the rockers on. And you want to stay to the end of the video to find out how to torque these down to sequence. sequence. And there's a secret that's different than Chevy for Ford that I'm also going to tell you about the end of this video. So let's go get some work done and finish this engine. All right, so today we're getting a little farther. I am going to be putting these hydraulic roller lifters back into the engine here. So I made sure to clean out these journals really well. And before I put these down, I am going to be using some of this pre-lube. Now, the reason that I'm using this pre-lube is because it's really thick. It's not like regular engine oil and it will stick to this in the next week or so that I'm putting this engine together. Um, all of these pieces that I've been degreasing, this is the second degrease that I'm doing just to make sure that all these rods blow through and um, all the little gunk is off of the, the thread and everything else to get it really fresh. Do not soak these because these have bearings inside here. So you can just clean these from the outside only. Um, I sprayed the rag down and I never sprayed anything on this. And I just wiped these sections and got a pick and got in between these sections. I did not, as you see, clean very good up inside it because I don't want any of the bearing to get messed up. So we're going to go ahead and lube these up, put them down put each rod in and each rocker, and that will be the next step of our Ranger build. So right now I have the push rods and the rockers and everything all lined up with each cylinder that it goes to. Um, we've degreased everything and we're ready to put everything back in. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up so you can see the block and I'm gonna put these in in fast time and then I'm gonna take one that I do in slow time just so that we can talk about it. There, and then you'll go so forth and complete the mission all the way down. Make sure you have the push rod inside where the lifter goes. And let's actually take a, a look at what's happening here. So the push rod goes down inside the lifter. You see where there's like a little, a little round um, hole inside there. It's kind of pushed down in. Well, that's exactly where this piece, the rod is going to sit right down in there and rotate. And then it also, the rod goes on the bottom of the lifter piece here, which is this piece. Now you see also that has some wear in there where the rod went up inside. So you can see when it sits on here, how it moves. And then this little piece 
goes inside. And you see where it wears on the outside here, where it's shiny? That allows the, this to lock in, but the lifter to flip back and forth while this stays steady. This stays steady, this piece will move back and forth, allowing the valves to open and close. So that's what locks it in. So I'm gonna do the rest of these, make sure all this is done, and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how to torque these rockers down. If you don't torque the rockers down correctly, um, you are not gonna be able to have them move and some of your valves are gonna be stuck open and some are never gonna open, the engine's never gonna run correctly. This is a very important step to torque these correctly. All right guys, so, um, my video of me torquing down the bolts for the fulcrum got messed up, but I'm still going to explain it to you so that you can understand what you're supposed to do on this last step. So when I'm looking it up, it says anywhere from 18-26, 18 to 26. Which So what I did was um, I went through all of them 18, and then I went through all of them 26 to tighten them to the max. Now, these Ford um, parts that lock down are called fulcrums and it has a square bottom on the end so if you lock it down to 18 and then 26 or if you're like I'm just going to go in between like 22 and lock them down as long as they are locked down there is no adjusting so it's it's not like on my old Chevy pickup I got a 90 pickup you would screw them down and you could back them off a little bit so they chatter and tighten them up and then give it one half turn. Um, that's how the old Chevys used to work. But these Fords have like a block on the bottom. So once it's blocked down, it can't go any farther. As long as you don't over tighten it and snap the bolt, you're not gonna have any problem. If you do run into any problem or you have any questions, um, I always put in my description to comment down below and I read all of your comments. Um, sometimes you guys teach me things. Sometimes I teach you guys things. That's, that's, that's what YouTube's all about, man. We're supposed to be just having fun and passing knowledge. So um, let's keep it going. After this, we're going to start doing intakes and getting the rest of this engine put together. So check out this whole entire playlist of the overhead valve Ranger 3.0. We break the whole thing down, put it back together. We love y'all disturbing creations. Like, subscribe. And here comes our ending. 